Mechanical Properties of Fluids Plus One Physics ले पत्तामते चाप्टर इस चाप्टर ने आरामते भागमान नाम ये क्लास ले इतना पढ़ी किन्दा एल्ला विद्यार्थी कल्कुम फिजिक्स क्लास ले के स्वागत है विस्कोसिटी इंदा ने इतना आदि पढ़ी गया लिक्विड्स साधारण या ही फ्लोज़ ये इतना द लेयर उगल आये था ना लेयर उगल का रूप बतला ना लिक्विड्स फ्लोज़ ये इतना द ये लेयर उगल तमिल तमिल चले पड़े रे रेसिस्टेंस फोर्स उन्नड़ा गा रहन्द ये रेसिस्टेंस के कारण हम तरने लिक्विड्स इन्दे फ्लो तड़सा पड़ा रहन्द अलग ही फ्लो इड़ वेग द कोरे आर मुन्द आ the resistance to fluid motion is called viscosity. The tangential force that tends to destroy the relative motion is called viscous force. It is analogous to friction when a solid moves on a surface. Viscous force is the motion is the फ्रिक्शन इतना आ उरी फोर्स ने तुल्य मारना। टेंडर सॉलिड सरफेस गल तम्मेल उन्नड़ा उन्ना आ उरी फोर्स, फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स। अदेने तुल्य मार्ट रोला फ्लोइड मोशन ले आ फोर्स आना विस्कोसिटी अन्ना नमक पराया। The viscous force depends on area of the layers and relative velocity between layers and the distance apart them. Liquids flow in the form of layers. This type of flow is called laminar flow. For any layer of liquid, its upper layer pulls it forward while lower layer pulls it backward. This results in force between the layers. Liquid layer ugalai flow chayim bol. Oru layer matter layer ugalai opposite force aana chayirthundu. Idu thanne E flow ye tadasa padutthu na reedhi ilai maarundu. When a fluid is flowing in a pipe or a tube, the velocity of the liquid layer along the axis of the tube is maximum and decreases gradually as we move towards the walls where it becomes zero. The velocity on a cylindrical surface in a tube is constant. As shown in the picture, consider a layer of liquid between two glass plates. If the upper glass plate is pushed tangentially, it moves with velocity v and the liquid layer suffers a shearing strain. The shear strain undergone by the liquid in the time interval delta t is given by delta x by l. For fluid, stress is directly proportional to strain rate. That is, F by A, that is force by area, is proportional to strain by time. Therefore, F by A is proportional to delta X by L divided by delta T. Or, F by A is proportional to V delta T divided by L whole divided by delta t. F by A is proportional to V by L. Thus, F by A is equal to eta into V by L, where eta is the coefficient of viscosity. Therefore, F is equal to eta A into V by L. This is known as Newton's viscous formula. Coefficient of viscosity. The coefficient of viscosity for a fluid is defined as the ratio of shearing stress to the strain rate. That is, eta is equal to FL divided by V into A. The SI unit of viscosity is Poiseuille. Other units are Newton second meter raised to minus 2 or pascal second. The dimensions are 
m l raise to minus 1 t raise to minus 1. Generally, thin liquids like water, alcohol, etc. are less viscous than thick liquids like coal, tar, blood, glycerin, etc. The viscosity of liquids decreases with the temperature while it increases in the case of gases. Vivida Tarathilulla fluid galade viscosity ivide table i nalgirikin. Ava yude temperature ivide nalgitund. Stokes law. When a body falls through a fluid, it drags the layer of the fluid in contact with it. One object, one fluid cross jayega in the paranyal, a little fluid in the sanjirikya in the paranyal. Fluid ulla a layer gul. A layer gul drag jay the matin in a shesha mana, a object as a little movie jay. Adinda palamai, one retarding force a body experience jay. Thirchayim, a force in a other jay which venom, a body ke. Fluid loaded, move here. The body experiences a retarding force. Falling of a raindrop and swinging of a pendulum bob are some common examples of such motion. The viscous force on a body moving through a fluid is proportional to the velocity of the object and is opposite to the direction of motion. According to Stokes law, the viscous drag force F is F is equal to 6 pi eta A V where A is the radius of the spherical body and V is the speed. Terminal velocity of a raindrop. Consider a spherical body or raindrop falling through a viscous medium. The forces acting on the body are weight of the body acting in the downward direction, buoyant force Fb acting in the upward direction, viscous force Fv acting in the upward direction. The raindrop accelerates initially due to gravity. As the velocity increases, the viscous force also increases. When viscous force plus buoyant force becomes equal to the force due to gravity, the net force becomes zero. And so does the acceleration. Thereafter, the body will move with constant velocity. It is called terminal velocity. Thus, the terminal velocity is defined as the Constant maximum velocity acquired by a body while falling through a viscous fluid. Viscous fluid is the object in a object maximum velocity. A velocity is the terminal velocity. When the body attains terminal velocity, Fv plus Fb is equal to Fg. Therefore, 6 pi eta a v plus 4 by 3 pi a cube sigma g is equal to 4 by 3 pi a cube rho g. Where a is the radius of raindrops, sigma is the density of the fluid and rho is the density of the raindrop. On simplifying the above equation, we can write the equation for velocity as V terminal velocity is equal to 2 A square divided by 9 eta into rho minus sigma into G. So the terminal velocity Vt depends on the square of the radius of the sphere and inversely on the viscosity of the medium. If rho is less than sigma. Terminal velocity becomes negative. The body will go up. This is the reason why air bubbles rises in the liquid and 
clouds in the sky moves upward surface tension for a molecule well inside the beaker the net force on it is zero but for a molecule on the liquid meniscus or free surface there is a net downward force thus the molecules on a liquid surface have some extra energy in comparison to molecules in the interior as shown in picture the surface tension is a force per unit length or surface energy per unit area acting in the plane of the interface between the plane of the liquid and any other substance ഒരു ലിക്വിഡിന് ഉപരിതലത്തിലുള്ള ആ മോളിക്യൂൾസിന് അതിന് താഴേക്കുള്ള ഫോഴ്സാണ് അവിടെ ഉണ്ടാവുക എന്നാൽ ഒരു ലിക്വിഡിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിലെ മോളിക്യൂൾ നാം പരിഗണിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിന് എല്ലായിടത്തേക്കും ഫോഴ്സുകൾ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ നെറ്റ് ഫോഴ്സ് അവിടെ പൂജ്യമായിരിക്കും എന്നാൽ ലിക്വിഡിൻ്റെ ഉപരിതലത്തിലുള്ള മോളിക്യൂൾസ് അവയ്ക്ക് നെറ്റ് ഡൗൺവേർഡ് ഫോഴ്സ് ആയിരിക്കും അവിടെ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കുക അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ആ ഉപരിതലത്തിലുള്ള മോളിക്യൂൾസ് എല്ലാം തമ്മിൽ ഒരു മെമ്പ്രെയിൻ പോലെ ഉള്ള ഒരു ഫോഴ്സ് അവിടെ രൂപപ്പെടുന്നു ഇത് ഒരു ടെൻഷനായി മാറുന്നു ഈ ഫോഴ്സിന് വിളിക്കുന്ന പേരാണ് സർഫസ് ടെൻഷൻ ഇത് ഒരു വലിഞ്ഞു നിൽക്കുന്ന മെമ്പ്രെയിൻ പോലെ രൂപപ്പെടുന്നു ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് സർഫസ് ടെൻഷൻ depends on temperature the surface tension of a liquid usually falls with temperature vivida liquidgalude temperature um adinu anusarichulla surface tension um ivide oru table ay nalgirikkunu surface energy the energy required to increase unit area of the surface is called surface energy a fluid will stick to a solid surface if the surface energy between the fluid and the solid is smaller than the sum of the surface energies between the solid air and fluid air effect of surface tension due to surface tension the liquid surface act as a elastic membrane due to surface tension liquids have a tendency to reduce their free surface area ee rendu point um valare important aayi nam orthirikkendadana surface tension de effect allekil namukku nammude nithya jeevithathil anubhavapaduna rendu karyangal ennu ulla reethiyil ee point gal nam orthirikkendadana consequences of surface tension liquid drops and bubbles assume spherical shape the pressure inside a spherical drop is more than the pressure outside oil and water do not mix water wets you and me but not ducks mercury does not wet glass but water sticks to it oil rises up a cotton wick in spite of gravity soap and water rise up to the top of the leaves of the tree hairs of a paint brush do not cling together when dry and even when dipped in water but form a fine tip when taken out of it expression for surface tension consider a horizontal liquid film ending in a bar free to slide over parallel guides as shown in picture when the bar is moved by a small distance d as shown the area of surface increases the system now has more energy the work done by the applied force is f into d this is stored as additional energy in the film if the surface energy of the film is s per unit area the extra area is 2 into dl a film has two sides and the liquid in between so there are two surfaces and the extra energy is s into 2 dl is equal to fd 
or s is equal to f d divided by 2 d l that is equal to f by 2 l. Thus, the surface energy is numerically equal to surface tension. Mechanical properties of solids. Plus one physics le patta amate chapter. E chapter le korchhe topic ke galana naam inna e classil padi chida. Adatta phagam adatta classil namukh padiya. Plus one physics class galan engal ke lepya magunda dene. E YouTube channel subscribe chega, share chega, like chega, bell icon enable chega. Add the topic in my, add the glass will come. Namaskara.